So if you're like me, you're a fan of high density storage. In this show at Simeon Beauty, we've seen 100 terabyte SSDs, you know, solid state drives. What about mechanical? There's still a massive demand in this industry for mechanical storage. Now, we've seen 18 terabyte drives hit the market, 20 terabyte, 22 terabyte is now on the market. And they're all around technologies that multiply the amount of bits that are currently going on inside, uh, inside a hard drive. What Seagate are showing here at Supercomputing this year is this drive. If you'd like to come in, Dom, it's the 30 terabyte Exos X drive. And they've even got one, you know, a see-through one here. What this uses is a technology called Hammer, heat assisted magnetic recording. So the point is, how small can you make those grains on those platters to hold bits of data that are basically interesting and for a long time? Normally it was just magnetic fields. What we're doing now is we're playing with technologies that you need to heat up in order to write a bit or read a bit. There's multiple ways to do it. And Hammer is just one of many technologies currently competing on the market. Now for a drive this size, obviously you're thinking, what about the speed? You've got 30 terabytes, so it's probably three terabytes per platter and 10 platters. Well, these are still SATA drives. They're not gonna be NVMe anytime soon, but they are offering mechanical density at a lower power than the equivalent solid, sto solid state storage devices. And for as much as we love to call them spinning rust, they're gonna be here for years and years to come. If you ever hear about the death of a hard drive, ignore it. Hard drives are here to stay. And me, my new specification is I want at least five of these, if not 50, because that'll make for a really nice, dense system.